Hi everybody! In this video we are going to talk about special layers. So let's just get started. Paint layer and group layer are not special, they are normal layers and we've already seen them. Next up is clone layer. The clone layer creates an exact copy of the current layer. I cannot draw on the clone layer directly, but I can move the layer and apply filters to it. Any changes I make to the original layer is immediately applied to the clone layer. Clone layers can be useful for all sorts of purposes. For example, I can make a drop shadow like so. This drop shadow will update immediately as I change the original layer. Or I can make the glow effect. like we did in an earlier example. This time, if I change the original, the glow will automatically be updated. We can also make a grid of many clones by going to Layers, Split, Clones Array. Now I can make a 2x2 two two grid of clones. As you can see, three clone layers have been added. If I modify the original, each of the three clones immediately updates. Next we have vector layers. On vector layers, we can add and modify vector shapes. We have discussed this in a previous section, namely in the section sketching and inking. So have a look at that if you're interested. Then we have filter layers. A filter layer is simply a filter. The filter is applied to all those layers which are both in the same group as the filter layer, as well as those layers which are below the filter layer in this column. Moving on, we have file layers. File layers import external files. We cannot draw directly onto the file layer, but if we update the original file, then the picture will be updated in the discrete file too. After that, we have a bunch of masks. I will not be talking about masks in this lesson, but we will be talking about masks a little bit later on. Then finally, all the way at the bottom, we have local selection. Local selection is a way of storing the selection. Let's say we've spent a lot of time selecting an intricate and complicated area. Then if we want to paint another part of the painting and we don't want to lose the area we've selected, we can link this selection to the current layer. In that case, when we jump to another layer and remove the selection, and then if we move back to this layer, the selection reappears. That's all for now. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video. Bye bye.